we just started our hike down the David Thompson Trail. This being the trail. There goes John up there. Going down the David Thompson Trail. You rest in this rock screen. Grizzly evidence all around us. Grizzly digging is starting to make us feel uncomfortable. River down there. My brother was hiking about a hundred feet ahead of me when he surprises a grizzly sow with a cub. The mother grizzly then bluff charges my brother. Luckily they then disappear in a flash. Say it again. Just seen a bear up ahead. I think it ran. I'm deciding whether we should keep walking or not. Okay. We quit the hike and then we returned to the Bayberry where we went on a short drive and then after that we returned to our campsite. Cool. Big waterfall coming off the Mummery Glacier. It melt because it's so hot lately. This is where we washed up because we can't wash up in the salt stream. You can see this is nice and clear water that it meets the salt water right here. Meaning of the water is right there. We can't wash up in that really. We found this nice clear stream running in. And that's pretty washed up. Jeep, we hear a nice clear stream. Campsite's about there. This is right by our campsite. Avalanche slopes up there. There we go down there. Good. Fine. We come back to where we got our water before the day before and the day before that and it's gone. The river uh, totally swept over it and there's a whole bunch of debris in the river and the river's all brown. There was some earth dam or slide or something, who knows what happened. But uh, no more medium of the waters totally swept away. Weird. Eating away the road. Right there. Bits of the road are being chewed off. The dam or something must have broke through. The curtain dam. Weird. On the way out, the road's flooded. That thing is heading, this stream is heading down the road now. That's the road up ahead. You have to go through all this. It's like you're, you're going to be like driving down a stream. That's the road. This stream is heading into it. How deep, you don't know. We're a little nervous before we begin because we don't know how deep the water's going to be up ahead. That's the road. 
the Isnella River. Coming from that glacier up there. So far, so good. The water doesn't appear to be too deep. We're lucky in our drive out. I, I think the deepest spots are only about a foot and a half deep. It's all stream we're going down. The road is all flooded here. This appears to be the deepest part. I think it's about two feet deep here. This is an easy, fun drive when you have a Jeep. Looks like we're almost out. I guess that's it. A little part right here. Susan Lake. We caught a trout. John's holding them. Pretty colorful fish. Eastern brook trout, I believe. Do you think that little green thing works? Huh? Well, I guess. This eastern brook trout sure is a gorgeous fish. I'm going to show you a close up to show you how it looks. Beautiful blue and yellow spots. Okay, caught a fish. I'm not gonna let him go. Oh, we're gonna let him go. What's he caught on here? Like those green Susan Lake down there on the way to Jeb Lake. Almost out of tape. I don't know how much tape I have left. There's Susan Lake down there. John taking a picture. It's raining in the distance. Moose back there we just saw on the way to Jeb Lake. I'm almost out of tape. There's a moose. Oh, the... Saw a moose on the way here, but uh, 
think Susan Lake's actually better for fishing. So no, and a lot bigger too. So uh, I don't know how many more times we're probably going to come here. Not too often. Ugly looking, ugly looking rain clouds. Look like coming this way. Susan Lake down there. Is that thunder? Huh? This turns into a trail pretty soon. There's actually lots of people parked here. Two guys right there and eight guys up there. Who knows Plus why? Went for a backpack down the Cooper. These guys are parked in addition to the two other vehicles I showed. All these guys are parked to hike down the cupola. Most of them have protection against the porcupines. That's what people do to protect against porcupines. See the, the wire around the vehicles? Well, we had to get up, did you say, you mentioned yet, that we had to get up in the night and pepper spray a porcupine? Yeah, we pepper sprayed a porcupine <laughs> yesterday because it was chewed on our tires. See all the wire around the vehicles? That's porcupine protection. Porcupine protection. Well, eight people parked here, and two people there are all going hiking down this cupola for some reason. And there's our vehicle. 